it's perfect today. It's about 63 degrees, overcast, a little bit of rain coming down. Love weather like this. So I went out, got myself a festive drink from a known coffee company that's okay at best, but fine for a day like today. And I'm gonna soak up every single bit of it because I wish it was like this every day. And that leads me into another kind of interesting subject, and that's that I don't exactly live where I want to live, but I don't know where I want to live. If I could live somewhere that all year round felt like this, it'd be cool, but what would that place be like? Because here, things work in a certain way and I'm really used to that. Not taking the Z today. We're taking the Ultima. It's a great day to leave the house and enjoy some of this weather. So I am going up to my buddy Dalton's house. You guys have probably seen him in the last vlog and in some of the music review videos. So let's head up there. What up, bro? What's got oh, going on? Oh, titties! Come on, <laughs> come on! Keep monetization, come on! You gotta have that premium Snapchat for access to the titties. For access to the titties. Bro, what you whipping up here? What's going on? So, like, I usually cook these just like olive oil, and, like throw some herbs on them, uh, like on a baking sheet. Oh, these? What is this? Potatoes? It's just like multicolored potatoes. Word. But like, I have some garlic and some some different spices, and I think just like some crazy mash. It's gonna look like it's gonna be like brown, honestly. By the time we're done with it. But. I'm still recovering from that uh, that ramen you guys made. Dude, that stuff so, was insane. So, You're gonna do what in Japan? So one of my followers on Instagram is this guy. Uh, I don't know his real name, but Hibusa something on Instagram owns a ramen shop in Japan. And so I was talking to him, I was like, man, the next step is go to Japan and then have an episode where we make ramen in a shop. And he kind of like picks out our flaws, just like what we do wrong. So we go to Japan and make ramen in Japan. I'm just saying, dude, I'm just saying. So I've pretty much lived here my entire life and it's not a bad thing. Uh, Tennessee's a pretty decent place. People act a little bit differently in the South than they do in the North, I found. A little bit more friendly. Um, but I do kind of want something different. And I tried North Carolina once, but I think I want something really, really different. And now I'm kind of torn between Philadelphia, Denver, and maybe somewhere in Washington. And I've got friends in all three places, so I don't know, it's a lot to think about. But Tennessee has been a really good place to me. And I feel like this goes a little bit without saying, but I have a lot of friends here too. But there's a few things I don't like. It's hot as hell in the summer. We are one of the worst places in the United States for allergies because we're in a basin and all the pollen just swirls around. And it's super humid all the time. But also as cool as it sounds, it's really difficult to actually leave somewhere that you've lived for your whole life. I mean, right now I really don't actually have anything holding me here, but I haven't quite left yet. Like, what do you think about what do you think about that whole concept? I mean, the whole concept in general, I guess my opinion on it is that if there's nothing holding you here, then why leave? Like, I'm in a weird position because I have diabetes, so I can't just like up and move wherever I want. I've had opportunities and, oh, come live with me, Florida, California, Colorado, all kinds of places. It's just like, I would love more than anything to just bop out and be like, bye. But I can't do that. So like my my uh, setback is I need insurance. Oh, that's going in the garbage. Lost a piece of garlic, bro. It's never lost, not forgotten. But um, yeah, so I just, I guess the, the main thing for me is that you just gotta find what caters to your needs best possible because really like self comes first. Like yeah. it, should, it should always come first. That's fair. 
Honestly, I should probably be more concerned with things like that, like insurance and all that stuff. But the thing is, like, you don't, you really don't have, like, too many things, like, holding you back, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the main thing for you, I feel like, is just, like, that comfort zone and, like, leaving, like, everybody. Like, because yeah. my whole, like, everybody I know is here. And, but also, that's so false, dude. Like, you have so many friends, so many good people in so many places, like, you would be good no matter where you went. The issue is, I feel like at this point, it's just like how your business would do if you just could, like jump shit. Yeah. I feel like I'm lucky enough that most of the people I work with with my business are not even in Tennessee anyway. Well, and they would, and it would be fine even if they were here that, oh, you come here for, it's the same thing yeah. as you living here and traveling everywhere that you do. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not, it's just not cohesive. Always on airplanes. Actually, speaking of that, I'm um, leaving for Philadelphia this Friday, this Friday, and we'll be doing more videos up at Z's. So, like if you want to see more videos up at Z's, and I think Pops will be there too. So maybe vlog with all of them. Maybe since his face has been on the internet now, I can actually convince him to not let me blur his face. He's made you blur his face the whole time. Yes. You petty, bro. Dude. Oh my god. But uh, when we were at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, PS Audio did a video on our room, which. Thank you, PS Audio, that was great. Shut but, out. Yeah, but they didn't blur his face. And Ooh. yeah, their channel has like 90 something thousand subs. But I mean like, subs and subs and subs and yeah. subs. Everybody saw his face. But but is he mad about it? Like that's good pub. Any publicity is good publicity. No, he didn't care that much. Um, I think he said that he wished like he hadn't been caught off guard because he like kind of coughed and was like, oh, hey, hi, hello, you know. Kinda. I hate how goofy I look whenever I'm videotaped. Like, it doesn't it doesn't bother me anymore. Like, it was just like, I feel like so many people are like, oh, I hope I don't look nerdy or I hope I look cool. Like, what yeah. happened? Nobody's cool. That was one thing. It probably took me two years of being on camera all the time before I got used to actually being on camera and filming these videos. And the first like couple of years, I was like, what the hell am I doing? This feels so awkward. And now I feel more comfortable talking to a camera than I normally do talking to people, which is kind of strange. I, I don't think that's that strange. I think the stranger thing would be like, in regards of like, you don't know who's watching. Oh yeah, I've gotten some pretty strange comments. Right, like I, I just the short amount of time that I've been involved, like seeing people, like what people say is just like, that's how you feel. <laughs> Speaking of which, how you feel about that garlic? Garlic! Potatoes? That yeah, hurts. so I'm gonna do uh, potatoes. Uh, the, the burgers are pretty standard, just. Man, I'm not really gonna do much to them. We got a little bit of spring mix and just like however you wanna do the fixings on uh, mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, whatever. Oh, yeah, those on the grill right out there, aren't they? Yeah, finna be done. The, um, actually, let's go check it out. Alright, let me, let me put my shoes on. Ain't even tying them. Ain't even tying these boots. I got loose laces. I got a snake in my boot. All right. But yeah, I mean, I, I feel like with me, like keeping it ultra simple is the best key. You get me off guard. My shirts are dirty and my Dude, shit's wrinkled. It's so perfect out here. I, this was the best day for it to get like to this temperature. So I mean like, they're pretty much done, I think. Oh yeah, for sure. Kitchen hands, baby! Woo! Yes sir, yes sir. Keep it as simple as possible. Uh, really, the fix is what, what matters. Today, it's just honestly like, it's like, let's make food. I'm not doing anything like extra, there's nothing. I like making comfort food. Like, oh yeah. Just like, just like that is another thing for the South, man. Like we love our comfort food. We can't live without it. Yeah, like what makes you happy? Like what what makes it easy for you? Yeah. I'm about to give you the keys and let you drive. I'm not gonna let you know what it is because I don't know what branding it is. But, uh, 
Is hot it gonna kill honey. me? No, it's hot honey. It's delicious. So basically, I take these brioche buns, take them, split them in half, and then I would just go like on the top of each of them. It's very simple, uh, and it gets this great finish when uh, broiling or baking them. Oh God, damn! It's impossible, isn't it? Oh! Okay. Hey, yeah. This is here. Dip you a little. Dip you a little dab in there. All right. Yeah, it's max. Yeah. Oh, are we gonna die from that? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You can probably smell it. Oh! Oh wow! Ow! Ooh, I'm gonna wash the rest off my pinky. Yeah. But so like you just put like a little bit on. It's just a just to brown it a little bit. You don't yeah. even you don't even like do like as much as you just had on your finger. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it's just like <laughs> it warms your mouth. Yeah, I just like, like I swallowed too much of it. So like you like you think that that it would be like oh this is gonna be too much. So you just throw your oven on broil. It's not minutes. like normal heat. It's like it's the kind of heat that kind of chokes you a little bit. Yeah, but there's no like you hear hot honey and you're like oh it's gonna be sweet. Like no, it is a little bit. It has a hint of it, but I think that's just like what they make it with. But like. Literally like nothing. Just like, just kind of smear it on there instead of butter. Throw it in there on broil. Boom. Cause I need a little bit of more heat in my life. Mm. So I got Monster, you got Habanero Jack? Bro, let's hope this doesn't break. Ooh, full piece of cheese. Come on, oh it ripped. Ooh. Mm. Let me center, center that bad boy. Oh. I'm not even gonna put it all the way. Throw it back in there. Broil, it'll melt it real, real fucking quick. And then we got the potatoes. Yeah. I can't show you the brand because I don't know who's gonna sponsor me yet, but hot honey. So you're trying to get that brown over here. Oh! Ah. Yeah, see, no veggies. We just gonna eat this, this round. Oh my god. I'm gonna go. Alright, should I try this without any mayo and mustard on it first? Or should I just go all in? No, go all in. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Uh, so I just ate the best burger possibly that's ever existed. Oh, you just got. Dude, fried. just burnt to Chris! Uh, is that copyright? I just ate the most wicked burger ever. Um. I don't even know how to describe that. I had Munster and hot mustard, some of that hot honey, uh, mayo, and then I had the potatoes, and that was about it. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, like, I think it's, it's test. Oh, murder! Dude, I forget how, like, hard this game was. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that game, that game, and, uh, was it Ratchet and Clank? Was that dude, the other one? Yes, yeah. Sly Cooper, and then uh um, Spyro. Jack and Daxter. Dude, I'm about to buy yeah. all of them, dude. I spent so much time playing those as a kid. And Metroid too. That was my jam. Yeah, my parents never bought me a system, so we always had like Super Nintendo, Sega, like random bullshit. And they were great consoles, but at the time like my friends playing fucking Xbox and shit. Dude, you're shot. Oh shit. Alright. Um, I died. So there's that. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna leave it at that. What do you guys think about, I don't know, moving, about living different places, living in the place you spent your whole life in? Like, it's kind of wild. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But I definitely am gonna keep sticking to making these vlogs. It's super fun. Gets me out of the house more too. Probably need to do that. But yeah, that's about it. So. If you guys like this video like down below comment let me know what you want to see in the future and stick around and subscribe more videos like this in the future peace